Welcome, this is Jay with Explorer Systems. We're going to take a look at the Versailles Inventory tab. The Inventory tab is your tool for managing your merchandise. You enter stock, print labels, track movement, generate lists for reordering, and audit on hand counts. The Inventory tab serves as the backend setup for the Gift Shop tab front end, so after you enter products here, cashiers can sell them in the Gift Shop POS. Along the top, use the buttons to select your operation. Vendor is where you maintain records of your suppliers, which helps make reordering easy. Inventory lists merchandise. You can edit current products and add new ones. In orders, you can queue items that have fallen below minimum thresholds, create lists of products to reorder that you can submit to vendors, and quickly check in those products when the shipments arrive. The count feature is for physical counts of products to audit merchandise and update on hand counts. Labels is an interface to print scannable product labels. Then we have setup. Seasons are subdivisions of the retail year to mark changes in products carried. Shop departments are internal departments to track movement of merchandise to other departments in your facility or to record donations made, damaged items, or loss. Categories and subcategories classify your products to make searches easier and reports more useful. Retail stores segregate discrete locations of your gift shop if you have more than one in your facility. In discounts, you can set up coupons or other reduced price promotions you offer. Shop buttons are gift shop dashboard quick links to sell popular products, especially those that might not have scannable labels. Now let's go through entering a new product. We'll click Inventory, and then click New. I'll double-click on an existing item to show you what it looks like. Enter a brief name to be printed on receipts. Click to upload an image to make it easier to identify the product. Enter the UPC by scanning the barcode or typing it in. If you have finite supplies of the product, check Track as Inventory. If tax should be added to this item in a gift shop sale, check this box. When you no longer carry this product, check the retire box to remove it from lists. You can also make it so this product can't be discounted. Enter the product code the vendor uses in order to assist you when it's time to reorder. From the drop-down list, select the vendor you obtain the product from. If different from the vendor, enter the name of the manufacturer too. Classify the product by selecting category and subcategory from the drop-down lists. Enter the cost per individual item you paid to the vendor. Then, enter the retail cost your patrons pay to purchase the item from you. You can also enter a general ledger account number and any special notes. Next, click the Adjust button. Enter the number to add to each store's current on-hand count. Click the OK button and then save the item. The product is immediately made available to sell in the gift shop POS. For a copy of this information and step-by-step -step procedure with more detail, refer to the built-in user manual. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for when we upload additional videos. And remember, we're here to help. You can reach the Explorer System support team on the support forum of the Versailles website, as well as via email and phone.